contraction is not just lower body, it's also upper body. Now, not everybody has a chance to do this. We have a medicine ball here. Um, if you have a medicine ball, that's fantastic. Use anything that's light, between four to 10 pounds, depending on your strength and how long you've been working out. If you don't have a medicine ball, you can get pretty creative. You know, you can stuff a bunch of pillows into a, you know, a, a, you bunch, stuff a bunch of clothes into a pillowcase. Something that's going to be soft, fairly heavy. It's really about how you move, though. It's not so much about how heavy it is. Jen's going to be showing you from the side. The elbow is going to stay in a slightly bent position. Now she's not going to move her head or her her hips. I want you to stay in a quarter squat position. So give me a little squat position. And she's gonna go back behind her spine just a little bit to get that stretch in the shoulder. And she's gonna slam it down to the ground and regain it and do the same thing over and over again. Now it doesn't have to be rapid fire to control this, but the idea is to get a slight stretch on the back and then snap it down with a lot of force. And this is gonna give you power through your stomach and your rotator cuff. You can do about 10 to 15 of these. Again, you can give yourself a little bit of break in between, but this is great for your arm power.